What's up, YouTube world? My name is Kevin McLeod, and welcome to the final episode of The Man That Never Walked In. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about changes. And, you know, something I was thinking about early this morning, I was currently talking to God, and I said, God, I need to change. Something about me has to change in order for me to reach my level of success. Something has to change about me physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Something has to change. Because if not, I'm just going to keep running in the same circle. I'm going to keep doing the same things, keep making the same mistakes. And I can never grow like that. You know, Albert Einstein said it best. He said insanity is doing the same things over and over again and expecting different results. So something about me has to change. And I thought about it and I said, what can I change? Well, first of all, I need to change the people that I'm surrounded by. You know, the people that I call my so-called friends. You know, certain people I need to delete out of my life. And it hurts. And I've talked about this in past videos before. But it's so hard to get rid of these people because you looked at them as being your friends, as being your close, you know, go-to guy, go-to woman, so to say. Someone you feel like you can depend on. You've told secrets to them that you never even told other people, not even your family. So for you to have to delete them because you found out they're not the person that they say they are and they're bad for your life, it hurts. But I realize if I don't get rid of these people, then my life is not going to change. And if you have certain people like this in your life, you have to also realize that they can hold you back from your blessing. So it's just something for you guys to think about. It's Something about you has to change. You know, if you're tired of being broke, excuse me. I'm currently fighting a cold right now. If you're tired of being broke, then guess what you need to do? You need to find another job. <laughs> it's just, it can't get any simpler than that. You know, I know that we're, a lot of us were scared of change. You know, we fear it. It just feels so uncomfortable to change. You know, I used to run away from change. It's, oh my God, I have to change who I am. I'm kind of afraid of that. I'm kind of afraid of a, going into a new environment, going into a new experience, a new life. But at the same time, if I don't change, the same thing is going to be happening. It's just going to be repetitive stuff over and over and over again. And I'm just going to get the same results. So if you're tired of being broke, you need to do something. If you're tired of being in unhealthy relationships, maybe you need to check who you're dating. You know, the man that you're dating, the woman that you're dating. You know, if you're someone that, that if you're a woman that's attracted to thugs, maybe you shouldn't try dating thugs anymore. Maybe that just doesn't work for you. But something has to change in order for your life to change. You know, if you want a closer relationship with God and you don't read your Bible and you don't go to church and you don't pray, then you're not going to get that closer relationship. So one of those things are going to have to change. You know, you're going to have to read your Bible every day or read it once a week. You may never read it before. Start out once a week, you know, and gradually increase. But something has to change. So, you know, when I made this video, I was just lost, man. I was like, man, you know, I'm doing all the right steps. Why isn't the success coming? And God says, son, you need to change. Something about you has to change. Like You have to change who you're surrounding yourself with, the way that you talk, how you act, how you speak. See, the thing is, a lot of us have employer mindset, but we think like an employee, if that makes sense. You know, I'm going to say it again. A lot of us have an employer mindset. But we think like an employee. So you have to change your way of thinking. And that's the biggest thing for me. I had to change my thinking process. The way that I, the way that I thought. Because the way that you, you are what you think about. You know, it's just so simple as that. And it's in the Bible. I read this book called The Secret. It's in that too. And if you go back in history, you know, you are what you think about. If you think about this world, everything was created with a thought. From the car that you drove. From the building that you work in, the house that you live in, apartment, whatever you want to call it, everything was created by a thought. So your thoughts are very powerful. You know, there are very pow powerful mechanisms that you can use in this world to really get you through it. So when you change the way that you think, everything else in your life changes. You know, you don't hang out with those bad friends anymore. You don't do drugs anymore. You don't do alcohol anymore. You know, you don't think about suicidal thoughts. You don't think about prostitution, being a crackhead, whatever the case may be, because you changed your thinking process. Everything changed. And once you change your thinking process, everything else around you changes. And I've actually put this into practice, but I wasn't consistent with it. But when I look back at the way I practiced it, I noticed the change. Like when I started changing the way that I, when I started changing my thinking process, you know, the way that I felt. 
I woke up, a lot of times I felt negative. I didn't really have a good vibe. I said, you know what? I'm going to wake up positive. I don't care if I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I don't care how things are going to look. I'm going to be positive. And when I did that, throughout the day, I was happy. I may not have been where I wanted to be as far as my job and career and money-wise, but spiritually, mentally, I was happy. I had a lot of joy, peace in my heart, a lot of peace in mind. You know, I was able to go out and smile at people and be happy and greet people and when you look at me you would think nothing was wrong with me you wouldn't think that i had issues but i changed the way you know i changed my thinking process and it helped a lot but the thing was i had those inconsistent times where i say you know what i don't feel like thinking positive i want to be negative i want people to feel sorry for me you know i want to feel sad and pitiful and i want people to pat me on the back and tell me it's going to be all right but at the end of the day no one's going to come rescue you from your issue you have to change yourself so what i had to do i had to get back in that consistent mode that consistent mind frame and focus 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 is all mental 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 my belief i believe everything in the world is mental so when you change when i changed my thinking process everything else changed around me so it's just something for you guys to think about you know what's going on in your life that you need to change is it the people you surround yourself with is it family that you tell your business to that maybe you shouldn't tell your business to anymore? Is it that job that you're working that is not paying the bills like how you want? You're not you're not able to save money, put in your pocket. What is it? What is, what do you need to change? But you need to change right now. Don't procrastinate and say, oh, I'll change in the next week or oh, I'll take time. No, right here today. If you could change five things about you right here today, what would it be? What would you change? Would you change the way you looked? Would you change the way you think? Would you change your, your work environment, the people you hang with? What would you change? Five things. And I challenge each and every one of you, including myself, five things. Five things. From right now, today, all the way to January 1st, 2016, what are you going to change? Five things. And work on those five things. In January 1st, 2016, I want you to look back and say, okay, I changed three out of five things. Well, let me work on the other two. Or I changed five out of five things. Great. What else can I change about myself? You know, you have to... You have to make the change so you can change, so your life can change, so everything around you can change, so your finances can change, so your marriage can change, so your relationship can change, your friendships, your relationship with God. You know, everything can change you have to change first you as a person you as an individual everything has to change so it's just something for you guys to think about you know i may not know you but i love you all as my favorite quote goes god is love and love is god and i would like to thank you for watching the man that never walked in i hope you enjoy it go check out my book the man that never walked in it's available now on amazon.com also check out my two books poetry mindset poetry mindset volume two both available on amazon I also am a music producer. I like to do instrumental music. You know, music for you just to just listen to the instrumentation and really feel it. So if you go to iTunes, if you go to Google Play, you type in Professor.K, capital P, R O F E S S O R dot K. And I have an album called uh, Hashtag Pray. And I have another album called Legend. Electric personas on the way, so stay tuned for that. And once again, I may not know you, but I love you all. And my favorite quote goes, God is love and love is God. Thank you. I love y'all.